How do I make sure my batteries are ready for competition? So it's important to go to a match with a fully charged, healthy battery. If you go to a match with a dead battery or a, a battery that can't hold a charge, you can experience brownouts when driving or pushing another robot, restarts of your radio, or your driving could just be slower and less responsive than normal. So this is what a battery looks like when you open it out of the box. They do come with a small hardware pack, but Animark offers this battery hardware kit, which we feel gives a much better connection between the battery cable and the battery itself. One of the most important electrical connections on your robot is between this battery cable and the battery itself. It should be laid out in this order here, with the battery cable living here and the battery terminal living here. First thing you want to do is put the heat shrink on your battery cable. The very first one is the red piece on the red side, and then each one gets a black. These have glue inside of them to make sure that the screws stay exactly where you put them. Everything stays rigid when you shrink them. So we'll put the washer on the screw, the screw in the terminal, and then you want to use the star washer to serrate both connections. This isn't for locking, it's to make a good electrical connection by scoring both surfaces. And then put our battery cable on, make sure red to red, black to black, and a washer, and then the nylock nut. And when you're tightening this, you want to make sure that the other plastic connector is on because if I were to drop this wrench, I could cause a short circuit. Do the same thing to the other side. And once both sides are connected, I'm gonna slip the black heat shrink over both terminals, hit it with a heat gun. And then for the red, you can slip the red heat shrink over the black heat shrink to make sure it's a continuous red wire. As your batteries get older, you may see some corrosion developing around the terminals. It's good to check for this every couple months. If you start to see any rust or white powder around your connections, Take the heat trick off and inspect them. If it's significant, it's time to replace that battery. So one of the best ways to tell if you have a healthy battery before arriving at your competition is to test them with a CBA tester. You'll need an SB50 to PP45 connection for this tester, which is optionally included. And then plug the battery into the tester. Make sure the tester is connected to your computer with USB and you have the latest CBA software installed on your computer. So you want to open the CBA software, select new test in the top left. Discharge should already be selected, but if it's not, click that. On the blue box on the right, you want to click detect, and that will verify that a battery is connected and pre-fill some of the fields. For an FRC battery, we recommend that you enter 13.2 in the voltage field instead of whatever pre-fills. It should also be set to six cells, with a capacity of 18 as a nominal amp hours for the battery. In the center, you want to make sure cutoff voltage is 10.5 and test amps are 7.5. Once all those settings are input, click start test. You'll hear the fan on the CBA start to run and a graph will begin to appear on your screen. This test can take a couple hours to run so just let it sit without touching the battery or any of the cables during the test. When the test completes, you'll get a dialog box showing you, among other things, the measured amp hours. For an FRC battery, this should be above 12.5 to be considered good for competition use. You should check your battery voltage before each match using a battery beak to verify you've got a healthy battery and a fully charged battery. You can use a battery beak to test the voltage under load, which determines the health of the battery. And that's how you make sure your batteries are ready for competition.